To the back line it goes. Kept in play for now. Sent over by Bergeron. Sail it to set up, and there it is! Jill Sarapusco with the winning point for the Hillers. And Medway is undefeated no more as Hopkinton puts a L in the Medway record book via a sweep. 25 to 22 in the first set, 25 to 13 in the second set, and 26 to 24 in the third set. And the Hillers improved a seven and two on this season. The Hillers sports fall season is underway. And so far it has been a great one for Hiller Nation. Boys and girls cross country both stand at three and O. Oh. The lowest score takes the win in cross country. On the boys side, they defeated Medfield 25 to 30, Westwood 24 to 33, and Norton 23 to 36. The girls defeated Medfield 20 to 43, Westwood 27 to 30, and Norton 25 to 36. Hiller's girls field hockey has six wins, one loss, and one tie. This past week, they captured a one nothing win over previously first placed over Sherborne and tied a tough Westwood team one to one. Hiller's golf is also off to a fantastic start. The golf team stands at 5-2 on the season. The Hillers defeated Holliston, Millis, and Medway to open the season. They then lost a close one at Norton and then followed up by defeating Holliston and Ashland. On Wednesday, September 27th, they fell to Dover Sherborne by just four points. In the picture, Hillers golfer Abby J receives an award for the Boston Globe All-Scholastic Golf Selection. For the first time since 2012, the Hillers football team started the season off 3-0. They opened with an 18-14 win at Wayland and then defeated Medway 42-0 in their home opener. And they then grabbed another impressive road win, 14-0 over Bishop Fiat. The Hillers' defense has given up an average of under five points per a game. Very impressive stuff by the Hillers. Hillers girls volleyball is a whopping 7-2 on this season. They lost to a very tough Barnstable team on September 19th, but followed up with a sweep of Millis on Monday, September 25th, and took down undefeated Medway on the road by way of the sweep in a statement win. Hillers girls volleyball eyeing a state championship repeat. If they make the postseason, which more than likely they will, they will compete for their first year in the Division I playoff bracket instead of Division II. Hillers boys soccer is right in the playoff hunt. They currently have three wins, four losses, and a tie. On Saturday, September 23rd, they tied Ashland at one apiece and then followed up with a 4-0 win over Dedham on Tuesday, September 26th. Hillers girls soccer also very much in the playoff hunt. They have four wins, three losses, and a tie this season. This past week, they defeated Hopedale 5-0 on Monday, September 25th. I recently caught up with the Hillers girls soccer captains. I'm Kate Huebner. I'm a senior and I play right mid or forward. I'm Sammy Hirsch. I'm a senior and I play center mid. Big opportunity here for the Hillers in a game that will likely not have many goals at all. This is a situation that if you do not want to end in a tie, it seems, you have to take advantage of. Airs it out to the right side and that's a Hillers goal. Sammy Hirsch on the free kick makes it one nothing Hopkinton. It's, it's a pretty similar group of girls. We only lost like five or six seniors, so not as many as the boys team did, but we've been working hard with them and doing a lot of drills and trying out different positions to see how we can work out the players that we lost. It's also a really close-knit group of girls. Like we've, Because we've been together for a couple years now, we all get along really well. So whatever we're doing, we also have a lot of fun with it too. But we also are really focused on improving our record from last season. One of our team goals is to make tourney. I have high hopes for this year. So far, we're on a good track. We've 
We are two and two this season, so two wins, two losses. Had a win yesterday against Westwood, so looking good. Yeah, and also one of like our personal and team goals is also for me tournament and um, also to have a very close knit kind of team, like I said, and keep all the positive attitudes up for the whole season. Um, yeah. What's it like playing for Coach Hill Brian? You got it. It's good. Um, I think she's a really nice person. She's a really good coach. She knows what she's talking about. Um, she does a nice job of talking to us and helping us understand like what we need to be doing to help improve on the field.